Hey YouTube, it's Tyler Schulte, and today I will be unboxing my new Garmin Nuvi 52LM. LM, of course, for the Lifetime Max. And 52 being the second in its 5 inch series of the 50. So, let me just get this bad boy cut open, and we can see the box inside of a box. And so, I ordered this from Amazon for about 105 bucks, roughly. So let me get rid of that real quick. And here's the box. On the front, uh, 5 inch screen, lane assist, USA, 52LM, free lifetime maps by Navtech, by Garmin. Uh, here is your general layout, I believe. Uh, the UI. Um, let's see here. So we have the detailed coverage, and it says it pretty much covers the entire United States, with the exception of a few states being a little iffy. And then there's a little picture of it and 5 inch touchscreen, turn by turn directions, line assist, 10 million, net micro SD compatible. On the bottom, uh, nothing really interesting there, just a bunch of information that's useless. Beside that, so let's get this bad boy opened, however, this happens. Um, so, it's like a magic trick. We got. So, huh, let's start at this side. Oh, this is not how you open it. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So, it opens from the bottom, you guys. Should have looked at that better. In the front, we have the unit itself. Let's just take that out nicely and set that aside for now. On the inside, we have a roughly, I don't know, maybe 12 inch cable. Garmin charger or just USB cable for updating and so forth. The mount, you know, sticks to your windshield or whatever else. And so that's pretty standard too. We have the ball, which I'll get to later how it attaches to the unit. And then we have the charger itself, which does not like to come out of the packaging very easily. But that is very thin cable and that plugs directly into the back of the unit. And then inside the box we have just the Garmin Express setup guide. So obviously you don't need much instructions to use this unit. Here's the unit now. Take it out of its plastic. And that's protecting the screen. Here's the front. It has a glossy bottom with matte sides. Very shiny screen. There we go. On the back cup for the suction attachments, devices, and your speaker, which I assume will be very loud like the previous model, and then the charger port in the back. Now the side, the SD card slot, which I have purchased an SD card for because I assume, like other models, it may have limited storage space for map updates, but that comes separately. I bought that separately. And so let's just, there's the power button, and you see they have this kind of curved design where they go in and out on all four edges. Very curvy compared to the previous 50 LM that I unboxed earlier. And so let's just press the power button and um, see if it turns on or if it's dead. And it appears that the unit is completely doubted. So I'll maybe plug this in and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so I got it plugged into a portable battery pack here into the back of the unit. And it is charging so I can just press the power button, and this was already loaded up, so I'll just, United States, American English, I'll accept the terms without reading them, and go, and agree. So here's your layout, you have your help at the top, time, signal strength, which is currently zero, and charging meter. They redesigned the layout compared to the 50LM, we have settings, volume, view map, where to, pretty much the same, but just different. UI look to it. If you press the power button once, you get your brightness adjust and your power off, but if you click off of it, it'll just go back. Your where to is pretty much standard with every single model. Address, go home, points of interest, recently found, favorites, intersection, and so forth. So nothing really new there. Main three I'll just be using is the top L along here, you know, recently found, go home, points of interest, address. So nothing really new in there. Volume wise, this is at 80%. That's 100%. And then I can go all the way down to mute, obviously. For the point of this, though, so it doesn't get annoying, I will put this on mute so it doesn't keep clicking at us. So here we have system. I can just go through this really fast. 
nothing new there. All those things are pretty legit. Um, route preference, you can you know change all that stuff. This is all usually with the same UI as other things. I just want to see if there's anything new really. Color mode, okay, that's all original. So this is just pretty fast rundown of all the settings. Um, nothing new there. Uh, nothing new there. Maybe they included new vehicles. I do not know. Uh, they have the... So yeah, nothing really new there. Everything's pretty much the same as it once was. Oh, anyways. So we have the view map and that. They have the speed and so pretty much all they really changed at all is the layout. I think this is pretty much the same hardware specs as the 50LM. Just different thinness and mount arrangement. So if you really want to dig more depth into the actual features just check out my 50LM video and that will show you more of what this thing is capable of. Anyways, so as I was going on about that mount I haven't attached it yet but I assume, okay so this top piece feeds into there, there's a little notch cut out on the top feeds into there and then clicks into place. I thought it was a magnet but it just clicks apparently and this I assume is the release. Yes, so this is the release the bottom. Just take this, pop it into here. Very tight apparently. So very tight ball hinge joint. This does not move as freely as the 50LM model. And then I should just be able to click and pops out. So that's I actually really like this new amount. But then you have your charger and everything else as I explained. And so basically that was my unboxing of this video. Um, if you want to see more about it I can show you more if you request it in the comments below. But that's pretty much all the features of this Garmin. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like more, subscribe, whatever. Just peace out, you guys.